New at 10, the fight over lights at a Little League field. Some angry neighbors say not in my backyard. Annie Scholes has the story live in Whitefish Bay. Annie. Well, Mike, Miller Park, it's not. Right now, this is the only light at Craig Council Park, and that is exactly how a lot of people in this neighborhood want it. But if the Little League gets its way, little ones will be playing under the lights in Whitefish Bay. Marisa Sullivan lives on Lydell Avenue, and her street leads right to the baseball fields at Craig Council Park. The Little League wants to install lights so games can be played at night. People are blocking our driveways, parking in our driveways, and you know, this is going on at a shorter period of time, but with the lights going up, that could add to the problems. The issue was brought up at a joint planning commission and village board meeting Monday night. Sullivan is a Little League fan, but her fear is if lights go up, so will the number of safety concerns she already sees on the dead-end street. Speeding, parking, and kids running around after sunset. We want them to be able to ride their bikes down the street without feeling like someone's going to pull in our driveway and hit them with their cars. Josh Levy is the president of the Whitefish Bay Little League. The lights will let us move those games back about 75 minutes and start those games later, let people get off work and then come to the games. The proposal would allow lights to stay on as late as 10 p.m. during the summer season. There'd be only two games at a time, not three like we would normally have. And uh, we've proposed some parking restrictions that would maybe ease the burden to those residents. The league offered to pay for the lights, but Sullivan believes that could be at the expense of neighborhood safety. And only one person in the audience spoke in favor of the plan. In the end, the commission voted to deny this lighting plan. They were not sold. And uh, that is, of course, for now. It can always go back before the commission again. They did direct staff to look into traffic issues in the area. On your side, live in Whitefish Bay, Annie Schultz, today's TMJ4.